Um, okay, so news from today, and this actually just came out right as we were about to record, which is John Moxley's on the advertising for the GCW show at the Hammerstein Ballroom, which is in, what, nine days or so? Nine days, yeah. So that that information comes out before any discussion on whether he's coming back to AEW. I was really surprised. I, you know, he's the GCW champion. I expected they would do well. I mean, like when Homicide did that promo a couple weeks ago, and and challenged him. Um, I thought they're probably doing that match. Um, because why would you do it if you're not? And that's cool. But that means that, you know, if I'm Tony and I'm paying this guy a lot of money, mm-hmm. I mean, I certainly am not going to let somebody else have his first match back, um, which means he's got to have his first match and his first appearance back by the 23rd, which is nine days away. So I would have I mean, I I don't know, you know, I mean, I don't know what the situation is. I just know that, like, if I was Tony I would, if they're going to advertise him, and that tells people he's on his way back, I it's would certainly be this week, this upcoming week. I would, I would insist on it. I would insist on it. I would, and I would, and because the cat is out of the bag, I wouldn't do a surprise at this point. I would have, like, to me, I thought like him showing up in Newark, you know, Newark big show, you know, if 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 because the homicide thing came before Newark, I thought okay, you know, Newark shows up, then. Um, GCW makes the announcement of the match. That all makes sense. And then this week, it's like, you know, you know in um, Raleigh, it's like, you know, maybe he's showing up this week. I don't know. Um, and, you know, if he's going to be at the Hammerstein, you know, maybe he shows up there as the big surprise. So now it's not even like you're, you can't even really do the surprise. I don't think. I mean, you could. I mean, you yeah, you could show up next Wednesday and do a surprise. But at this point, I would if they're advertising him, you might as well advertise him and just and you know try to get the rating and and try to tell everyone ahead of time get the pop and all that i mean you get the pop either way but you'll have more people watching tv and more excited over it and everything but you know here's the thing okay i have not spoken to to john since we did the show yeah. you know that night um i don't know if you have or not but i have not and um i don't know you know so so saying that i don't know i don't know how he's doing um, I mean, I, I have an idea. I shouldn't say I don't know. I mean, I'm not like totally lost on, but I really don't know. So, you know, is he ready? You know, I'm mean, again, like this is a serious thing and it's not about, you know, all that stuff I talked about is very, very secondary to the number one thing, which we all know is that he gets healthy and he has a productive life yes. and, and everything like that and not rushed back. And certainly they have not put any pressure to rush him back. Um, and you know, and, and everything. So like, if he, if he is not ready, um, you know, I don't want to say, Oh man, you has got to come back Wednesday night. He's got to, if he's not ready, but if, um, but if he is ready, you know, it's like, man, you know, it's like, I would, I would, if I'm AEW, it's like, I want him first. It is a big deal. I mean, you are running a wrestling company and part of it is, you know, the marketability aspect, you know, you're not rushing him back if he's going to come back. If um, so, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a very interesting thing, and I don't know a lot about it other than that's just kind of my thoughts on everything. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was, I was surprised because, like you, I expected something to happen at AEW first, which it still may, but I did expect the, you know, them to get the advertising out, out of it ahead of time, too, if, if they were going to advertise it. So, you well, know, because here's the thing if, if, um, you know, it's like if you really want to be a good friend to a smaller promoter, um, and Tony does want to be friendly with everybody. At least that's what it seems. You could almost say, oh, I'll just do these people a favor. I'll let you do it. But the thing is, it's like that Hammerstein show is sold out. It's been sold out. So it's not like they need, like, like it's, oh, we have 300 tickets sold. We're going to lose our ass. It's like the show is sold out. He cannot move another ticket. Now it's a pay-per-view and certainly he can move pay-per-view numbers. But man, don't you want his first pay-per-view on your show? You know what I mean? You're, you know, you're paying him a lot of money. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, what was the deal with um, Danielson? Okay. Um, Brian Danielson, you know, there, there, there is without going into detail, uh, there's an, in, you know, some people will figure out who put this is. There's an independent promotion, which I believe he wants to work for. 
in a market that AEW has not run yet. And AEW is not against him working for that promotion. But when they run that market, they do want Brian Danielson's first match in that market to be in AEW. And they have that right. And, and like nobody's saying, oh, you know, you're selfish or anything like that. They have that right. They're paying him a ton of money. And if he wants to do an indie in that market later, um, I'm sure that they will give their blessing because that's part of the deal with a lot of these guys is mm-hmm. they get to work their indies. So that was the thing. Um, you know, when, when I talk about the pay-per-view marketplace, especially now that it's a television pay-per-view, not that it's competition to AEW because it's not, you know, they're not going to do a hundred thousand buys or anything like that, but it's still, you know, even, even trying to be friends, like, like the show is sold out and pay-per-view people are going to, you know, pay-per-view is a last you know, last three day, last four day decision. So he could show up Wednesday on AEW and then GCW could announce, you know, at 11 o'clock Wednesday night, John Moxley's at the Hammerstein and it's fine because they don't have live tickets to sell. Um, you know, they don't have to get people who are going to fly in because there's no extra seats. So that's another thing why I'm, I'm just surprised it was announced, but you know, whatever. I mean, I'm sure Tony approved it and, um, you know, or I, I, I shouldn't say I'm sure because I haven't heard that directly. I would I would think that he would that that would be part of the deal, you know, um, and, you know, he whatever, whatever his decision making process is, that's fine. It's his company and his his decision. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.